Hi everybody, this is Aero, this is the Roxio Game Capture uh, Game Cap Pro HD. Uh, so when you get it, you're gonna have this box. I was gonna do unboxing, but you know, who cares? So you're gonna get this and this in in the box. You're gonna see that. Then what you wanna do is see right here. There's an opening. Ooh, what else do we have? Uh, sorry, I'm recording this with a um, iPod Touch. So don't have any professional cameras or anything. So this is your game capture card. I mean, your CD. This is the editing software. Then this is your instructions. But here I'm gonna tell you how to set this up. So first thing about it about Roxio is that <clears throat> we all know they haven't they haven't came out with an HD one. And this is their first attempt. It's small, not like the big hip hog. You know, it's small. It's nice. I like it. Component cables on the other. One on both sides, then there's your HDMI, and then your power cable. So with the cap power cable, you're gonna install is uh, you know just plug it in. Okay, so it's gold plated. It's like it's like the um, your um, printer cable ones. The second thing you're gonna need is you're gonna have to buy this. This this is the only thing that comes in that box. Nothing else. You're gonna have to get everything on your own. So you're gonna have to buy this, which are these ones are the Sony. These ones I um, you know recommend are the Sony AV cables. You can get them for 18 bucks to 25. If they're over that, then you're buying too expensive. So 18 is the lowest. 25 is the uh, the most. I got these at Best Buy for 25. You can I think I've seen on Target for 18, but I don't have time to go there. So you're gonna need this. Then you're gonna need a HDMI cord, which I don't know. Oh, sorry, it's over here because this is not the one I'm gonna hook up to because it's not hooked up to my um, uh, HD TV, which you're gonna need. So on um, this side, with the USB plug-in, you are going to put your HDMI. Nothing else. If we're, this is for tutorial for. The HDMI 1080i gameplay ones. So guys that only need component to component, that one's really easy. You put component on this side, component on that side. I think one with HDMI. No, just component. Yeah, component to component. So if you guys have a, this is the only way to record live commentary. And if you don't want to be doing that, you know, playing, you're playing with your friends, recording it. You know, their voices, your voices. You're going to need one up. Um, what's it called? But, um, P11s, you don't have to have exactly P11s, but something like this, where you have to connect these. And no Bluetooth headsets. Sorry, Bluetooths, you're, this just doesn't work for you guys. So you have to do that, you know, how you did regularly with your AV cables, how you played. Oh, what happened to the other one? Try white, oh, these are not even it. <laughs> Sorry, so you're going to have to do this. Boom. Pow. Then you know the drill. Blue to blow. Uh, green to green. Then red to red. So now here's a tricky thing, you guys. I did not get it at first. I was really confused. No video. Some videos helped me, but they were all mostly Xbox. This is for PS3, Xbox, PC. Um, there's videos out there for those, but this is we're doing PC right now. I mean PS3. Uh, so this side. Remember this side with the HDMI. And the USB plug-in is the side that is going to go into your TV. This side is going to go into your PS3. And it's going to take up that AV compartment cable. That where it's going to slot in. It's not going to go into your HD, uh, into your HDMI plug-in. Nothing goes into the PS3 but this. This side with the rock seal. And then it has these cables down. That side goes into your TV. Got it? Awesome. Alright, because I didn't get it the first time, so implant this in your head. Alright, let's go over here. So it's going to be kind of tricky hooking it up for me since I only have one hand. But, let's do this. So, what you're going to do, so that's my cable right there, the rock, uh, rocket fish one that's in my TV. I can't get back to my TV because um, it's kind of blocked to from some things. Uh, okay, there we go. So I'm plug it in right. For some reason I'm not plugging it in right. 
So let me put this down real quick. Sorry, you guys. Okay, it's kind of hard for me. I don't know why it is. But then you're going to grab your TV cable. And remember this. Plant this in your head. This side. Let me show you in a minute. This side. With that. And if your computer's too far, you know, you only have a uh, PC and not laptop, then you're going to want to buy a GigaWire uh, extension cord. Um, measure first. Mine was 16. And I didn't measure, and I measured when I got home. Sorry, let me put that down real quick. Measured when I got home, and it was only uh, about 13 feet. So why, when it does this, it's going to show like that, without your PS3 on. Your PS3 must be off when you're hooking up this, or else you're not going to get crap. And you don't want that. You don't want to be confused how I was. No one explained that to me in the videos. So, what you're going to do is hold it down till you hear a beep, one beep. Awesome. Okay. So remember the hookup. See this? This goes into your PS3. This side with the rock seal goes into your AV. This goes into your, this side goes into your TV. <sighs> okay. So you wanna that flashes blue flashes a lot. Well, look at that. See, we're playing in 1080i. Um, I, for some it may not look for like this. It might look like 720 or 480, but you're gonna go into oh, backwards. So here you're going to go into your settings, then you're going to go to, where is it at, display, yeah, get there, yeah, I don't know why that was there, but you're going to go component, D terminal, component, D terminal, you're going to press X, if the, listen to this, if the screen goes black, you did it wrong, if the screen goes blue, black, then comes on, then you did it right, then press yes, and do the ones that um, don't click 20, 1080p if you're sure that your TV does do that then it's called blue black you should do it right now come on okay okay not black maybe green then you do that then you're not done yet you guys then you go to set audio you're gonna do audio input connector SCART AV multi I don't know what that means okay so you're gonna do that then to record in gameplay I believe I saw it in a video but remember I'm gonna try it this uh, tomorrow Wednesday so you're gonna so you see you have the turtle beachhead, eleven over whichever should come up. Then instead of turtle beachhead, the turtle beachhead, you're gonna do output device system default device. Then you're gonna press OK. So you're good there. So now let's go to the program. So you should have your program up and running. Um, install it. Go to um, this bar thing yeah, like that, kind of like the old one. You know, go to capture loading cool then you're gonna have this screen wait for it once you record something this is where all goes I'll get them more to that you're gonna go to come on I don't know why it's not loading just let it cool for a little while yeah okay see so she have this ready sign make sure this is component um, always have this preview screen. See, the new thing to it is live stream. It streams to Twitch. This is your start. Um, you can look on what reviews about this. I'm not going to get too deep into it. So once you record something, you want to click, double click on this or click on this uh, edit uh, with video wave. So status, ready. Um, you can say how much capture, the quality, where it goes, your save videos. You're going to go to options. See, uh, some of bit rate, bit rate. Then I'm recording 1080i or HD, 720p or 480. Hotkeys, start capture, minus F1, F2. The regular ones is, I think it's F6, F7. Then this is your live stream, putting your channel name, global loading, your device you're going to be doing it with. Add Facebook, Justin TV account if you have one. And that's it. And that's it from there. Uh, make sure never change this to HDMI. I don't know why they have an option. I never used it before. It doesn't work with HDMI. I'll show you what it does. Nothing. And it affects that screen too. See, it says power saving because it doesn't doesn't send the signal right. See, switch it back to component. Blah blah blah. Then it comes back on. So you're the good there. Just let this load there. Oh, one thing about it is like just leave it hooked up. Um, so you're going to watch a movie on here. So you go to this. The thing it's going to do 
It's gonna play, but you just gotta wait a second. It's gonna go blue, black, then blue again. Wait, then it's gonna play your movie. It's gonna do like weird stuff when you play movie and then when you go into your game. But don't worry about it, no defects or anything like that. So, remember hook up you guys. Don't ever forget. Um, so, you, uh, this thing costs around 150 American dollars. And in pounds, I think it's 120. There's other ways you can get this cheap. I got it for 125 on eBay, but I had to buy that. And the what else did I have to buy? If you had an HDMI cord, there you go. All I had to buy was that, and this because it's an extension cord because it doesn't reach, and I'm, I can't use my mom's laptop. So this is Arrow, you guys. I hope you guys like this, and uh, please subscribe, share it, like it. I only have two subscribers, but you know what? Come on, you guys. Where's but two subscribers, please share it. I beg of you. Share it with your friends, Facebook, Twitter, I don't care. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys so much. This is the Rock Studio HD Pro. I'm Arrow. See ya!